Groningen, October 1983. This beautifully renovated Dutch beach resort is the scene of the finals of the Windsurfing World Cup. Normally, the beach, with the eye-catching, prestigious Kurhaus Hotel as focal point, is deserted at this time of the year. But now, for a 10-day period, more than 200,000 people will come to watch the exploits of the best surfers in the world. Windsurfing, also called board sailing, is one of the world's fastest growing sports. Most windsurfers view this sport from a recreational angle, but board sailing as a competitive sport also has made much headway. Within 10 years from its inception, board sailing has achieved Olympic status. Windsurfing will be included in the Olympic program for the first time in the 1984 Games in Los Angeles. The professional branch, regatta racing, developed simultaneously, with competitions for prize money throughout the world. As a framework for these developments, the World Sailboard Manufacturers Association was founded in 1983. In that year, the first windsurfing World Cup was held with a series of regattas in the Canary Islands, Hawaii, San Francisco, in France, and with the exciting finals in Scheveninger, Holland. These pro events are held with much wind and in heavy surf. These spectacular competitions draw many thousands of spectators and enjoy great interest from the media. The WSMA World Cup has three events. First, course racing, a triangular course including a slalom around boys. The start is on the water. The wave contest is a very spectacular event. The jury judges the surfers' maneuvers, granting points for wave riding, jiving and jumping. The slalom begins with a so-called Lamar start. These are elimination races around two boys in the surf. Many consider the slalom, which can be closely followed by the public from beginning to end, the most exciting event of all. For each event, competitors use various types of board. The longest boards are used for course racing. These boards have a dagger board and foot straps. Small, very maneuverable boards compete in the slalom and the wave contest. These have no dagger board, but extra fins for the necessary longitudinal stability. In Scheveningen, the American Robbie Nash used a special fin on his wave board for radical maneuvers. Just like all competitors, Robbie Nash can choose from a wide range of surf sails. Robbie Nash will no doubt take the lead in Scheveningen, but will he also be able to take the world title in all three disciplines? International competition is very strong. First of all, the other Americans, Alex Aguirre, Court Lernert, and Ken Winner. And of course, the German contender, Kai Schnellbacher, whose teammate, Jürgen Hönscheidt, is missing following a windsurfing accident. Philipp Pudens, Stefan Kierner, Björn Schrader and Klaus Walter are also German. Then there are the talented young Frenchman Eric Thiem, the Swiss Charlie Mesmer, the Swede Stefan Persson, Paul Janssen, and Olaf van Tol, the Dutch windsurfers, and Onno Tellier, and Stefan van den Berg, also members of the Dutch Olympic surf team. Stefan von den Berg was world champion on the Olympic triangular course several times. He's very enthusiastic about this type of racing. I am convinced that coastal surf competitions hold the future. That is obvious from the vast numbers of spectators here in Scheveningen. Other than in yacht racing, windsurfing has become a spectator sport. And that is something which all of us have worked towards. Once the boys have been set out, racing can commence. More than 60 windsurfers crowd the start line for the best position. With so many sails around, finding some wind is most important. Robbie Nash knows exactly how to. Small wonder, because as a 13-year-old, this wonder boy from Hawaii won his first world championship. Then he could hardly reach the boom. 
but nowadays he's in control of his board like no other. The Italian, Klaus Maram, is the principal competitor of Stefan van den Berg on the triangular course, although he still has to get used to the different World Cup disciplines. Course racing, however, he masters pretty well. This event he won convincingly at Brest in France. This is not all that surprising, as course racing comes fairly close to the Olympic triangular course. Stefan van den Berg announced in Scheveningen that he will give up his amateur status after the Olympic Games to devote all his time to fun board racing. In Scheveningen, however, it was Robbie Nash who was the clear winner of course racing. This also meant his overall victory in this World Cup event. He was followed by Ken Winner and Kai Schnellbacher. The final day in Scheveningen. There are still two finals on the program, the wave contest and the slalom. Will Robbie Nash again succeed in achieving total victory? In the wave contest finals, he has a worthy opponent, his friend Alex Aguera. The difference was obvious, however. His wave performance was more radical and his jumps were higher. competitors saw to it that this contest became a spectacle without equal. Enjoyed not only by the public, photographers also had the time of their lives. They didn't miss a single jump. Nash won his second world title in the wave contest, followed by Alex Aguirre and Ken Winner. <laughs> 